Hi guys, I've just got back from a four hour round trip to pick up this little beauty. Let me bring in and show you what I've got. So yeah, we travelled to uh, Stoke-on-Trent, which is a couple of hours from us to go and fetch this. And then obviously a couple of hours back, especially for this little beauty. So uh, what I've got here, as far as I know, is a little lathe, a little uh, watchmaker's lathe. So a watchmaker or a clockmaker. So I thought I'd like to have a go at uh, getting into doing a bit more metal work as well. At the school that I work at, we've just got our metal work lathe back into action. It's been out of action for years so uh, we're just going to try and start getting into a bit of uh, metal turning so what i thought i'd do is invest a little bit of money into getting a little miniature lathe to uh, get used to a few things because before this the last time i was metal turning was when i was a pupil at school so many many years ago I spotted this on Facebook Marketplace last night. Uh, the gentleman wanted £180 for it, which I thought was a good price compared to, because I've been looking a lot on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. And uh, yeah, I thought 180 was a bit of a bargain. It also said he would consider offers. So I put an offer in. And uh, anyway, we managed to come to an agreement of me getting it for £170, which was great. So like I say, that was last night. And then I was just worried that he might sell it before we got up there because uh, like I knew it was going to take us two hours to get up there this morning. So, uh, but luckily, luckily he kept hold of it and it was still there. The gentleman who's selling it, he didn't know a lot about it. It sounds like he just got hold of this. Because he also had a pillar drill. A really old pillar drill there and stuff. But he did show... He did show me it running. But uh, there's some electrical work needs doing on it. I'll bring you in closer in a second. So he just showed me it plug in with this... Uh, with this plug but there's some dodgy wiring going on here so let's just plug it in so i think it just straight away goes because it's not connected to this switch so there we are it's nice and quiet but uh if you got any comments about this, so uh, you might know what it is exactly. Because, like I say, I'm new to this anyway. But let's unplug it. As you can see, the belt has nearly gone. It's nearly completely had it. If a camera will focus up. It's a wonder it hasn't snapped already. So there's hardly any tension in that because it's stretching. It's just stretching. So I need a new belt because I thought what I'll do is clean it all up. I don't think I'll uh, paint it or anything. I quite like the old look of this. So I might just clean it and give it a good uh, looking over. But yeah, there's some uh, electrical work that needs doing. There's this old plug connector there, and then I think he said this is a plug. Oh, don't know what it is. That. So I think all I think at the minute it's just all bypassing this switch. So I'll need to uh, wire all this up again so we can have the on off, just straight there. But yeah, I think I've got a bargain really because if I look on eBay, all the cheap Chinese plastic little mini lay things, they cost, I think they start around £160. 
and they're rubbish. So hopefully I've got a decent buy. But it's got all little tools with it. So we've got little cutters there. I think there's some in these boxes. These come with it as well. So I've got a chuck to go in here so that can fit inside of there. I don't think I've got a key for it, so I'll have to... I don't think there's a key in there. Because he didn't know what all these bits and stuff were. But, because I was... Uh, like I say, I spotted this last night. So there's a little faceplate for it. So I was on there last night. I wondered what this was. And then... Uh, so I looked on the internet and it looks like it's something to do with model trains. So I don't know if somebody who had this made little uh, parts for the trains on it, which is very possible. But that's quite a nice little thing. So I've got that with it. I think there's some more cutters in here. There's something there. I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks like it might be another one of them motors. To do with train set, I think, probably. And we got some more cutters in here. So, yeah, like I say, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to have practice uh, at facing parts off and stuff like that. Oh, blimey. That cutter's cut very thin, look. If my... That's it. Let's put it behind, in front of there. I'm sure I'll be able to do something with these. So, yeah, I've got a few tools. There's a little tool holder. So, yeah, I'll have to find... A chuck key, I'll probably have one somewhere kicking around to fit that. This feels like it all moves nicely. Same with that. And there's no play. I'm grabbing that and if you see me, I'm probably rocking this camera about. But this is staying solid. It feels lovely and true. And then a chuck there. And that's moving lovely. So yeah, it might be just the wiring and the uh, electrical wiring and the belt. See there's some nice little oil ways there to oil it all up after it's all been cleaned. But yeah, I'm well happy with this. There's a, I think there might be a slight bit of a label or something on there, but I think it's too far gone if you can see anything there or is it flex somewhat I don't know let me just move you out well eh? and looks like to me like it's flex something or other don't know if any of you know if you put it in the comments down below that'd be great so I got that and then last weekend well actually so last weekend when I was looking for these and the other one had gone, I spotted this over here. I spotted a spindle sander. So this was on there for £100 and I said would they take 90 for it and they accepted that. So I went across to Nottingham for this one. So the other one was from Stoke-on-Trent today and this one was from Nottingham. Bloke said that he hadn't used this but I mean loads of people say that but I believe him because none of these had been used. All these had been brand new and this has only got stuff on it now because I uh, used it yesterday. But apart from that, all of them were clean and brand new. And the ones that you get with it, because they all match on the inside. On the inside there. So the same uh, 
same make so it's not like a new set that's been put on there so that was good so this is as good as new and the only problem with it was just the marks on there and that's it but he's just had it at home and never really well he never used it so that's great so i've got one of them and we got that today and we've also got a new vice a more heavy duty vice on there i know it's putting a good vice on a cheap chinese x and y table but that's what i've got because what i've got there is that set up and try and do some milling in there i've got a milling cutter for it actually we could try that now because this so is yeah this is just a quick video to show you uh what i've managed to get hold of and i would have been videoing in here today making a film but uh i've been like I say four hours of driving so i just thought i'd film this to show you what i've managed to get hold of um so yeah let's see if this is able to uh actually do any milling i know that it's not made for that but let's see if it's able to do it let's get a milling cutter in here see if we can cut a bit of a slot in this uh this aluminium bar Right, let's just move this across. So yeah, if I keep going at that, in principle, it will mill a slot through. Right, thanks a lot for watching this quick one. I know it's just popping in to see what I've got here. But like I say, if any of you have any information about this lathe, if you think you might know what the model is, if you could comment below, that would be brilliant. So thank you very much for watching. So I'll see you again in the Wooden Stuff Workshop. Take care.